the management of acute ITP, that's immune thrombocytopenic purpura. Acute ITP, immune thrombocytopenic purpura. This is uh, also known as idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. It's very common in children than in adults, and it has very good results too. So regarding the management, different hospitals have a different protocols. Okay, so the basic things I would like to discuss over here, like the patients with this acute ITP, there's no need of any specific therapy in asymptomatic children with platelet count of more than 40,000. Right. Now, the next part of treatment of this acute ITP is supportive care. Supportive care. The supportive care includes the restriction of the physical activities, the outdoor games, and the avoidance of drugs, especially aspirin. And remember, the one important point that you should avoid in these patients with acute ITP is giving intramuscular injections. Okay? Alright? And if the child has a platelet count of less than 20,000, still he's stable, then remember one thing, that you should hospitalize these children because there is a high risk of bleeding at any time and this life-threatening bleeding can occur at any time that's why you have to admit the patient now the next again important part of the treatment of this is steroids there's a corticosteroids corticosteroids these corticosteroids, they inhibit the platelet antibody production, okay, and interaction between the platelet and antibodies. And this, what you call, uh, these uh, corticosteroids helps to prolong the platelet life and helps the vascular stability, okay. And the usual dose uh, given in the patients with acute ITP is around 1 to 2 mg per kg per day of prednisolone for 2 to 3 weeks. And the basic rule for steroids, you know very well that whenever we start with the steroids, we have to taper it slowly. So we're going to taper this over 1 to 2 weeks. Right? Okay. Now the next again important part of the treatment is IVIG. IVIGG. Okay. That's intravenous immunoglobulins. This IVIGG increases the platelet count okay if you ask me how it blocks the fc receptor and protects the platelet from antibodies it's gonna block the fc receptor okay right and the dose can be given around two gram per kg uh, there are different protocols for that and remember, within 48 hours of the starting this therapy, the children will respond very well. And those children who respond very well, they are known as a rapid responder. Okay? Right? And those who are responded rapidly, known as a rapid responder, they will have a very good outcome. And again, important part of treatment could be anti-RHD therapy. The anti-RHD results in a blockade of FC receptors by antibody-coated RBCs in place of antibody-coated platelets. And that's what happens. This anti-RHD can be used effectively to control the acute bleeding episodes. Okay? And this also helps in increasing uh, the platelet count prior to the surgery. Okay, no need to remember the doses because the doses are never gonna uh, gonna be asked in USMLE examination. Now, let's the most important part of the treatment and the last is a splenectomy. Splenectomy is the removal of spleen. 
When we do the splenectomy, is the indication is the patient has a chronic IDB if there is uncontrolled bleeding or if the patient has not responded to the steroids, the IVIgG, then you can consider this splenectomy. And there are risks of the performing the splenectomy. Okay, and before listing the risk, I would like to tell you why we remove the spleen in acute ITP. Because the spleen is the organ where these, what you call, these platelets are being destroyed. Okay, so if you take out the spleen, the splenectomy, the platelets are not going to be destroyed anymore. So this is going to help in the managing the patients with acute ITP. And the complication of this post splenectomy is the patients are high risk of developing sepsis, secondary to the infection, like meningococcus, the pneumococcus, the H influenzae. And the peculiarity, the common thing that is present between these organisms is they are encapsulated. Okay? And if you ask me that the prognosis, if the child has less than five years of age and splenectomy has been done, then there is a high risk of post splenectomy infection than compared with a child older than this age. And the basic rule for this management of acute ITP is, remember, most of them, like majority of them, 85% achieve remissions, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.